All right, hey everybody, Traditional Bowling Wilders Podcast. This is Jason Sam Coy. Today we're going to talk about is a single bevel a double bevel? Uh, sort of, yes, for our purposes it is because we need to sharpen it the right way. Um, I've been hunting with them now for the last, what, four or five years, and I promise you the best way. Well, sorry, watching a spider just work a web over there like crazy. <laughs> Um, but, uh, there is a way to, you sharpen them very similar yet a little different. So let's look at this. Let's put it into perspective. What is the number one rule of sharpening something, whether it's a, let's talk double bevels, whether it's a broadhead or a knife. We've talked about this before. We sharpen this side until we form a burr, right? And then you got a burr there. You can feel that with your fingernail and you got this burr from sharpening this side. This is the edge of the bevel, the broadhead. Okay. Here's your steel side. There it is. So you got two two sides, two bevels that come together. Okay, so we have that set up. Why does that look so dark on there? Sorry, checking things here. But so, but we create this burr on this side. Once we have that burr on this side, then what we're gonna do is sharpen this side till we swing that burr this way and we can feel it on that side. Then when that's gone, we fine tune to pure perfection with ceramic rods, things of that nature, that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, and then that makes us a very happy person. That's our game plan, okay? That's what we were shooting for. Um, a single bevel is no different in that aspect on how that's going to work. What we want to have happen, though a lot of people think that you create the burr here and then you just remove the burr on a flat. Okay, that's what they think happened. So let's put that into down here. I kind of got the, the tips drawn bigger. So here we get a bird this way, and then we can get rid of it and get a bird that way. This apex point then gets fine-tuned on both sides, creating the perfect sharp edge that we want right there. Okay, does that make sense? Create a burr, create a burr, and then get rid of the burrs and fine-tune. Okay, well they think on this one it's create a burr, and then just even that out flat till that burr is gone and then fine tune that and then you got that set. That doesn't work for me. I cannot make that work. I cannot make any value on it. I cannot sharpen this as a flat side. Now machines are capable of doing that if you're using sanders and things like that or you have precision jigs and grinds. For, for most of us that, that just doesn't do it. I sharpen my single bevels the same way I do a double bevel with a little bit of change in there. Um, on the one angle. See, on a double bevel, we want this angle and this angle, so let's call it 25 degrees, okay, just for a number. We want those to match perfectly. We want to be 25 degrees here, 25 degrees here to have that perfect apex right in the middle. When we get rid of the burr, we flip the burr one way, we flip the burr the other way, we meet them in the middle, we get that perfect edge. On this one, let's say we're doing 20, 25 here, and then they want you to do a zero here, to create that super fine point right there, and I get that, I understand that. That is very hard, in my opinion, to get that sharp the way I want to, because I, I, I have not sharpened it fully, in my opinion. This is too hard to do. So on a single, on a single bevel, what I do is I treat it exactly like we do a double bevel. Okay, with the difference being that here I'm matching this angle to this angle. I'm matching this angle. Now on this one, I'm close to this, but I got kind of a slighter bit of an angle to this. Why is so that I can still create the burr here. When I get rid of that burr, I can create a slight burr this way too, so that I know I have made this point, okay? If you cannot find this point, none of it matters, okay? Nothing else is gonna matter because you're not actually sharp. So that is the key takeaway here, and in my opinion, the best way to do that is for this to almost have a mini micro bevel. So this straight one, or you got your angle bevel that's going to come up, and then you got your straight one that comes up too, and then it's going to have just a slight jog as it meets that. That little jog creates my apex in the middle where they have been formed over, formed over, burr, burr, and perfect. So for me, that is my best scenario here. Because if you can't make, the only way, let me put it that way, the only way to make this edge meet this edge is for this edge to first roll over it where you feel the burr, and then get this edge to roll over it where you feel the burr, so you have them both. And right where that cross is, is the tip. That is the point, not the tip, the edge of the blade. Okay, we're looking down the side of a blade. That is, this is not a side of a broadhead. This is the side of a blade on there, or a knife. If we were to take our knife 
and look right down that knife edge okay that edge what we see here and here is what we're seeing here and here so the whole goal of what we're trying to accomplish is to get that perfect apex i cannot do that on a flat side very well to get a zero angle to meet this one because I can't, this will not create a burr coming over. I'm not happy with that. That doesn't work for me. So in my opinion, the best way to sharpen a single bevel is to give it a little, you know, to not be afraid. Now we're not going to wrench on it and refile it and get crazy, but I want it to have this apex point in here. I need that key point to be there. How do I do that? This little bitty micro bevel, instead of taking that point there, we bring this one up, okay, we bring this one so it comes up this way. When this one comes straight up, we give it just a little smidge of a kick there, just a little tip so that we can actually create the burr. We have the burr, we get the apex. That's what works best for me. That's my style. So in my opinion, yes, I sharpen a single bevel just like a double bevel. However, the difference is I'm going 25 degrees on this side, Okay, where that is and instead of doing zero here nope I'm not doing that instead what I'm doing is about two or four or some you know two to four some small angle but enough where I can actually create the burr okay I sharpen them exactly the same how do we and again to reiterate that clearing this stuff out because it doesn't matter um, we'll just take this stuff away it is simple, simple solution. There is nothing that makes it any better. Here is the system. You take your edge, okay? Single bevel, we'll call it. Okay, we have that here. We sharpen this side till we form a burr. We sharpen this side till we form a burr. That gives us our apex. Now, once we have that apex, we now have a sharp head here, okay? So that is our sharp head. Then we fine tune with ceramic or whatever your choice is, okay, on both sides to really fine tune that apex perfectly and where those come together. And then we strop on cardboard, okay, on cardboard. And then when we're done with that, we also strop on denim, okay? Doing these three things, set the bevel, so that you get the apex. Form a burr, form a burr, get rid of the burr, clean it up really good with ceramic and fine tune it and get it just right. Then strop on cardboard, then strop on denim and you have the sharpest heads you could ever dream of really quick and easy and no fuss, no muss, no worrying about trying to match a zero degree bevel here to make it match with a 25 there. There's none of that kind of stuff. Keep it simple. Treat a single bevel like a double bevel, but keep the, the, the flat side just a smidge off, but enough where you can feel that burr. Um, and then once you got the burr in a burr, get into the goodies. So there you go. A little tip for you. Thanks for watching.